How's it going guys? Double wide six and uh, this morning I have this lawnmower this customer brought over last night and uh, the, the issue is it's not priming. So we're going to take a look at this. This is really a common issue with uh, these Briggs and Stratton engines. So I'll, t I'll show you what to look for. This is the unit. I got it up on the bench here. And it's a Toro recycler and what I want to do is just take this off. We'll take a look in here and we'll see if it's priming. So you can look into the throat of the carburetor and there's an emulsion tube in there, that brass tube, and I'm going to try and prime it. We should see fuel coming out there. primed it five or six times and there's nothing coming out so uh, we're gonna have to take off this little back plate here and fix this up so we're gonna pull out three five sixteenths screws here whoops and we're gonna take off our back plate this looks like it's in pretty good order. There's a, a gasket on here. Um, all right, um, I'm gonna bring this thing over to the bench and uh, show you over there. So this is the backing plate. I've loosened up the gasket. And one of the issues that you have is uh, sometimes this gasket doesn't make a good connection right here on this little groove. So what you can do is you can double up that gasket. So I am going to do that because this may be, it doesn't appear to be damaged, but a lot of times these screws get torqued down so tight that it warps the plastic. What I want to do is I want to pull the primer out. There's a little uh, screen in here. So there's like these clips that you just want to push in like that. I'll push this one in. Once you get the top tab adjusted, you can slip a screwdriver under there and you should be able to push out the primer bolt. Looks like this side got hooked up there a little bit. There we go. So we're going to pull out our primer bulb, and in here is a little screen. I'm just going to pull that screen out, just taking a pick and that comes loose and you want to make sure that this air opening is not clogged so I'm going to actually run a wire through here alright so in here is a little hole I'm going to take a wire and I push it right through here and it should come out the other side if everything's clear and you can see we have it coming out there and what I'm going to do is just spray a little carb cleaner through there, clean this out, blow it out with air. Another thing to look for is that your primer bulb is not damaged. Okay, This area here, see how it has debris there? You want to clean that out so it makes a good seal against the plate here. So I'm going to go and clean this stuff up and then I'll be back. So I have everything cleaned out, I blew through with uh, some brake clean, and we're going to take this little screen, and I'm going to try and place it in there, it goes in there like that, and it's big enough that you can just take your finger. Now I blew some brake clean through that screen, it's uh, all clean, ready to go. And the next thing that we want to do is just take our primer bulb, you can see I cleaned this, there's no cracks or anything in it and we're going to take this retainer we'll put those together and then we'll drop this in here and I'm going to use a three-quarter inch socket to pop that in place let me grab a socket with the socket you can take this you put it right in here and you can push that 
clip right in. You heard it click there. So that's good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up the gaskets. So there was a gasket on here that looks like it's in pretty good shape. So we'll put this back on. And I have another one. And I'll put a link uh, down below where you can get these gaskets. Alright, so we got this on here. And this is a good little tip. And uh, I got this double gasket tip. Got to give credit where credit's due from the uh, mower medic. He has a real good uh, YouTube channel on small engine repair. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I got that idea from him. So we'll pass it on. Before we put it back together, there's one other thing that you want to check. You'll notice that the, uh, the gasket has this opening here right there and that's to force air through this little hole into the bowl of the carburetor and then it forces the fuel out the emulsion tube which you can barely see in there so you want to make sure that that passage is working what we'll do is we'll spray a little brake clean right through here and we'll see if it comes through the uh, emulsion tube And if you look there, you can see it coming through, so there's no blockage. Now we're ready to reassemble. Now we're ready to reassemble. Remember, when you tighten up these bolts, you don't want to kill them. Just snug them up. The best way to do that is not with your impact. So I I usually use an impact because it's quick. So I'm just going to be very careful. But if you're not sure. Just snugging them up with a uh, nut drive is a good way to do it. Alright guys, so we got this thing back together and this is something that you always want to look for before you go and finish up getting all your parts in, on this uh, air box. So if you look in there you can just barely make out that emulsion tube and I'm going to go ahead and uh, prime this went back out it's getting a little blurry I think you can see it so there's fuel dribbling out and that's actually a pretty good uh, priming system there sometimes I mean usually it doesn't have that much fuel actually squirting out so uh, we definitely got that uh, I have a feeling this mower will start right up now so we'll see if all fixed, bitch. It works! Yup. I'll do this. Alright guys! Um, leave a like and subscribe. Give it a huge thumbs up. Bye. Thanks, Pips. Also, yeah. hit that notification bell, guys. That'll give you every video as soon as they come out. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed the repair. Double wide six.